Howdy from Nova Scotia. That was a pretty interesting introduction, isn't it? Um, so I'm trying out a new mixer and a new microphone. And hopefully it works better than the other stuff. And uh, hopefully you're not going to hear stuff like this. I'll take two Big Macs and order fries. You know, at least it'll be a little clearer sounding. Makes my voice sound more silky smooth. Anyway, hey, hey, everybody notice I'm wearing my poor Midway Lifestyle t-shirt. Yep, by Ram Makes These. And if you want one, you just got to let me know. If you want one, I'll let you know what, what she charges for it. Because I quite frankly have no recollection of what I paid for them. I think I want to get a black one, though. I kind of, they're a black one or a white one with black lettering. So I haven't quite really decided. So, weather in Nova Scotia. I'm looking out the window across the bay. I see ice and I see snow. We have snow. We got probably about four or five inches today. And uh, enough that I could plow. And it's still blowing around pretty good. And by Wednesday or Thursday, it's all going to be melted and be gone. It's kind of like the norm here. Uh, unlike Ontario, where you get your car buried every bloody weekend and you're digging yourself out and you're wondering why on earth you lived in such a godforsaken place that has so much snow. And I know because I was living in uh, Haldeman, you know, in the snow belt kind of area. Well, I wasn't snow belt. I can actually say with Sega Beach was a snow belt for me. Anyway, I decided I want to try talking about something, some more important issues today. Is it about the Freedom Convoy? No, it's not about Freedom Convoy. Is it about COVID? No, it's not about COVID. Is it about anti-vaxxing or vaxxing? No, it's about... I don't know about the rest of you. I am sick and tired of all of that nonsense. And I, I, if you want to put nasty comments below saying, where are you an idiot? You don't want to talk about this stuff. You go right ahead. I want to talk about something that's much more important, much more relevant in our lives. I just start watching the series Yellowstone. Well, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I kind of... Watched the first episode and I'm kind of hooked a bit. I want to go back and wait. I just realized the other episode's on. I'll be right back. I'll tell you what it's all about when I get back. Okay, so I don't know. I kind of got that cowboy feeling watching it. I mean, the Rip guy, I kind of like. He's like a no nonsense guy. Kind of like the guy you want to send in when it comes to bill collecting. The daughter, I'm not sure what her deal is yet, but it's kind of getting interesting. Kevin Cosner, by the way, kind of looks Kevin Cosner in the movie. Like, uh, I'm not sure if I'm watching Bodyguard or if I'm watching Yellowstone. I'm kind of, you know, I don't really. He kind of looks like the old rancher, though. I got to give him credit for that. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to go back and watch some more and I'll give you a better review of it. This is what happens when you watch four seasons in a row. And I just found out at the end of season four, they don't know if there's going to be a season five. Fate is a soul! 